Let's get back to Buffalo and Anthony Farnell, who I think is somewhere in this shot. Anthony. <laughs> Alan, you know, you, you take some of these assignments with a grain of salt. Who am I kidding? I pitched this assignment uh, and I was really enthusiastic and excited until about three o'clock this afternoon. No restaurants open, state of emergency still here on the south side of Buffalo and waist deep powder. No mountains to ski, unfortunately, in this area. Any guesses what this mound is? If you guessed a car, you are correct. And that is all we are seeing as the snow continues. 135 centimeters, that is the uh, big total, the winner, if you will, at Orchard Park. So right where the Bills were supposed to play on Sunday. Uh, other locations, Hamburg, uh, south side of Buffalo, anywhere from 70 to 120 centimeters. So lesser amounts, but still, this is an incredible storm. We've got another four or five hours of the heavy snow here, and then this starts to shift. And that should have all of our viewers' attention because parts of Ontario are gonna be getting clobbered, and they already have been up to the north. So let's look outside. In Toronto, we're thankful that we're on the other side of the lake, and that is the calmer side most of the time. Minus two, the temperature. You mentioned the Christmas, the Santa Claus parade. I'm, I'm in that spirit now that I'm here. Uh, tomorrow's high minus one during the afternoon and then dropping back to minus three late in the day. As far as temperatures across Canada, it's that cold air in the prairies that is now moving over the Great Lakes and that is the end result. This is the snow that is falling because of that cold moving over warm water. So it's going to continue, but it's going to move. The wind flow changes on Saturday. More of a southerly wind is going to bring this Lake Erie band into the Niagara region, St. Catharines, Fort Erie, and then also Lake Ontario band is going to move uh, towards Coburg, Belleville, Trenton, Prince Edward County had snow today, more on the way tomorrow, Kingston as well, and then up around Georgian Bay, another 50 or so centimeters possible in places like Owen Sound and Wyarton. So uh, we're not out of the woods, even those areas that have not had snow yet. There will be flurries, there'll be squalls around as well. And if you're traveling in the GTA, I am concerned about some snow on Sunday, especially the north side of the GTA. So we'll be keeping an eye on all of that. As far as uh, your forecast goes, well, we're having a little difficulty here advancing, so maybe we can get a, a helping hand, but uh, we are going to be seeing uh, those temperatures drop over the next couple of days as, uh, as it really starts to uh, cool off Saturday and Sunday. So when is this going to melt? No, that phone is not working. Uh, so if we can get uh, the map advanced, we can uh, look at a couple more things. Otherwise, we can talk more uh, about what's going on here. So uh, what was that? Sorry, are you guys uh, able to advance the map? Okay, so we're looking ahead uh, at your forecast for the next couple of days. Uh, it's cool this weekend and then it starts to warm up by early next week. We're gonna see those temperatures above freezing back up to seasonal and that's gonna melt the areas that saw five or 10 centimeters of snow. A lot of that's gonna melt. When you have 135 like we have right here, well, Alan, it's going to take some time. Uh, U.S. Thanksgiving is a week from today. Last Thursday and Friday, highs were in the low 70s, about 21 degrees Celsius here and back in the GTA. So, yep, a lot of snow. Watch what you wish for, Alan. So how heavy is that snow? I mean, obviously, you're trudging through that. Is it, is it fairly wet? What is it like? The... The, the, top, the top layers is rather light and fluffy and it's going to be blowing around, blowing snow through tonight and tomorrow. The bottom half is very sticky and wet and it's giving people a lot of problems on the roads, Alan, but also snow blowers uh, are having trouble even getting through some of these banks. So uh, it's a little bit of everything. All right. Dig yourself out of there. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Anthony.